Hello everybody, this is Bronislava. I have a blog, handmade rukodielky. You can find lots of uh, patterns in there. Uh, and let me go and talk to you about uh, our project today. Uh, I don't know, do you remember when I did a video of this uh, mandala vest? I was using this beautiful yarn, beautiful colors uh, by Misty Alpaca. And as you see, I use also red color, but I didn't use as much of it. Uh, and uh, therefore I had leftover. And this leftover uh, turned into a wrap around skirt. Let me go and show it to you. Wrap around skirt. You can see here, these are my strings that you wrap around your waist. waist. Uh, anyway, so the wraparound skirt is um, asymmetrical, so it is uh, shorter on one side and wider or longer on the other side. And of course, you wrap it around and tie it. So uh, I will have uh, I will have all the information on my blog about the materials that I have used. And there will be also a pattern. Uh, if you're interested, go below my video, click on the link, and that will lead you to a written pattern and information. But in today's video, we actually, I'm gonna go and talk about the process, what I did, and then I will show you two things. I will show you uh, short rows, which uh, was part of the uh, making this skirt uh, asymmetrical. And then I will show you I cord, which is part of my uh, wrap around string. Okay, so that's what we will be working on today. So first I cast it on uh, 241 stitches. I have eight stitches over here for uh, for the edge on the side and then i have also eight stitches over here for the side okay and in between i have from the edge to edge over here i have not including the edge i have 225 stitches uh, as you see i have edges with the garter stitch and in the middle I have a stockinette stitch. I knitted 10 rows of my garter stitch back and forth, including the edges. And then I was working on stockinette stitch, four rows, which means one row knit on the other side purl, except I was working on garter stitch on my eight stitches over here, which means both sides the right side and the wrong side is knitted okay and same over here just like i said and then i i don't know if you've seen my video where i was working on the uh bib let me go and show it to you i have it ready here for you to see so this was my bib where i did my two hearts over here so i used the same heart, exactly the same like in this video with the bib, okay? I used a heart over here in this corner. Well, I was hoping that, uh, you know, I will be uh, finished with it by, by uh, Valentine's Day, but I never, I never was so, you know, too busy with other stuff. Anyway, so after I did my heart in this corner, and in the beginning I thought I might actually um, do hearts all around the bottom, but then I decided not to do it because I thought it would be for me a little bit too much. So I just wanted a little something interesting going on in this wrap around skirt and, and this one heart is it okay and then i knit it 10 and a half inches all the way to this area right now where i have it all set up 
and I will show you what I will be, will be doing with that. Okay, so 10, 10 and a half inches. And right now I am in a position of basically knitting short rows. With short rows, what is going to happen is that this side is going to be longer. Okay, so from here, it's going to be longer and it's going to be in an angle like this. Okay, so I will have probably an extra, uh, maybe three uh, inches up here. Uh, but we still will have the these this uh, side shorter than this side okay and right now I am ready to do my short rows and short rows I will be doing every 15 stitches okay so which I will be starting to not knit 15 stitches on this side. So I knitted already all the way to over here. This was my 15th stitch. I marked all my stitches, but I will be taking those markers out. And I didn't knit these stitches. Of course, I'm not gonna knit this edge as well, right? I am going to go and purl back and knit my edge. Okay, so purl back this uh, this much up to my uh, marker here and then knit my edge. And then when I go and knit my next row, I will again knit all these stitches all the way to my next marker right here. So then I will have left over 15 uh, stitches here and 15 stitches here. And I will repeat that back and forth, okay? So how I'm going to do it, I'm gonna turn it around and it's going to be very difficult for me to work with these needles nearby table, but I will show you just a little bit, okay? So I will start purling and this is how i will do it okay, actually this has to be on that side over there so first stitch i will just slip and i will slip it purl wise okay we will slip it we don't knit it and then we will purl all the way to the end just purl kind of hard with these really long needles just purl all the way to the end so here I am at the end of my purl section where I have to purl all my stitches and uh, I, I did not I am not gonna purl all the way to the end only to my marker okay and then we will knit after the markers, which is our edge. So we will knit these stitches. Okay, hold on one second. I have to do it one more time. This, uh, these needles are hitting my table, so it's very, very uncomfortable for me to to do it so i'm very <laughs> i'm sorry it's just probably looks really weird right now in the video i'm not sure <laughs> we, we shall see and then we go and turn around right and we will continue knitting so now i will just knit because edge is knitted on both both sides so i will knit my edge again okay Do you hear that clicking on the table? Well, let me just go and explain it to you instead. So I will knit all these stitches and I did, I knitted all the way to here before, but now I need to go and knit all the way to here. So what I will actually do is I will take this off. So I know 
that I have to knit to my last dark marker right here. Okay, so I will knit all the way here and then I will turn it around again and I will do exactly the same thing. I When I turn it around, I will slip the first stitch and then I will purl. I will purl all the way to my marker again. I don't have to worry about this edge right now anymore. Okay, and then I will knit my edge here after the marker and then I will repeat again. I will turn it around and then instead of knitting all the way to this marker, which I will remove, I will knit to next marker. So each time I am not knitting 15 stitches, okay? So I didn't knit these stitches. Now I will not knit these stitches and then these stitches and then these stitches. So I will actually go and start making a um, line in an angle over here. Okay. And then when I'm finished with all the way over here, when I go get over here, when I'm uh, working on my last section, then I will go and show you that I will knit all these all the way down, but I will be closing, I will be closing my holes over here because it makes a little, a little step in here. So we will have to go and close all our holes in each of these sections, okay? So that's what we will do. And so I'm going to go and work on my stuff. I explained to you how I'm working on this. Hopefully you understand. And when I'm finished, I will just show you how I am uh, finishing up my uh, short rows. Okay. I'm almost finished with all my short rows. And let me show you how they look. You see right here is uh, my first short row. Here is second. Okay, and so on. You can see the little holes in there. And also, I just wanted to tell you that I did not use, like some of you uh, might know, the wrap technique. Because I will be uh, continuing, uh, you know, uh, later on to knit this row a little bit differently than with wrap on technique or wrap around technique. And I still have to do, this is my last short row. So I need to go and knit up to this stitch, then go back and then I will start adding all my stitches back on, okay? Or basically knitting all the way across this needle so um again i think i'm gonna go and do it by myself without really showing you much but i just want you to know that i will knit to that stitch and again my needles are hitting the table so it's very uncomfortable for me to uh, demonstrate this work Okay, so I'm going to go and do it up to here and then I will purl back, purl back to my uh, marker, all right, and then knit to the end and then I will start knitting all the way across. And actually I prepared a little sample where I'm going to show you how I will be doing it over here, okay. So basically... What I need to do right now, like I said, I need to go from this point over here and I will go from, uh, I will do the same over here on my sample. So I will be having five stitches over here only instead of 15, okay? So I will knit from this point to my next stitch. So let me show it to you over here. 
so here i would go and knit all the way to my marker here okay and i don't have a marker here but i will knit to my fifth stitch from here so i need to knit one more okay so i have always five stitches in between in here over here i have 15 okay now i would go when i would come to my marker over here i would turn around right and i would slip my first stitch and i would purl to my marker which i don't have over here so i'm just gonna uh, purl all the way and then i would knit my edge i don't have edge over here so i will just purl all the way to the end and then when i would go and turn again then i would have my little uh, bumpy thing right here and then every 15 uh, stitches right so i have my first bump right here and that bump makes also a, a hole in between the stitches okay like i showed you right in here right here is the hole and then 15 stitches later is another hole okay so that's what we are having over here now how i would go and add these stitches so let me show you how i will do it over here okay on my needle so i would just knit all the way to that stitch where is the bump okay so here i have the bump right be, be uh below the bump is another stitch you see it so i will knit the stitch that is going to go and make it even bigger bump and then the stitch below it i would go and add by grabbing it from the back okay and then so you basically now have two stitches the one on the needle the one below it that you just knitted and the third stitch one two three right and then so we grab that stitch from the back and we will knit these two stitches together knit them together okay and that way we close that hole let me go and show you again but let's go and do it actually in english style so i will knit to my bump i will look for my stitch that i need to go and use so it's going to be the stitch below this one right here okay so one two so i will knit this one stitch which is now going to become third stitch over here right I will add it from the back okay so i have one two three stitches i added it from the back and i will knit these two stitches together okay and i continue knitting again all the way to that uh bump or step i should rather say okay now i will again knit this stitch and i will need to add this stitch together with this stitch okay so we will knit this stitch and we will go from the back and add it together knit it together 
with the next stitch. And this I would go and do with all my those bumps or those steps. Okay. Now on the way back, I will do one more row. After I do all this, after I do all my steps or the bumps, I will purl my row. So basically, I will first knit those that edge and then purl all my stitches and then knit my edge. But over here, actually, I knit always uh, first stitch on the pearls uh, side and then I go and purl all the stitches okay but you can uh, purl the first stitch if you wish so I'm going to go and purl and when I'm done I will go and show you how it all looks Alright, so I'm finished with this row and you can see that we do not have any holes in there. Okay, you see? It looks really uh, pretty good. So this is how I do it without wrapping. Okay, I just add that stitch that is below. Now, <clears throat> when I'm finished with this part doing this, what I have in here, I will start knitting a really long string uh, and then later on I will start adding it. So that is go going to be my uh, like a belt or something because I will have a, a long string that I will wrap around my uh, waist and I will tie. Okay. So uh, let me go and work on my last step over here, on my last short row. Then I will go add all these stitches or knit all these stitches, just like I showed you over here. And then I will purl the middle part and knit the edges. And then I will show you what I will do next. So I'm finished with my short rows where I closed the, the holes in between, you know, every 15 um, stitches. And after that, let me go and show it to you actually a little bit. So here is, for example, one. You see, you can hardly see that, right? And then there is another one right here. Another one right here, okay? So every 15 rows, I close that hole right and then i had to uh knit my edge and purl the middle and knit my edge and then i did two more rows so i knitted entire row and then i went back again all right and i'm ready now actually to do my so-called belt okay um so what uh what i will do is i will go and cut this off cut this yarn off i will cast on four stitches two three four and we will knit in the round a really long tube the tube that i can go and wrap around my waist okay which really is I cord and this is the way I will do it. So after you cast on, you knit four stitches. Three and four. And then you will slide these stitches to the beginning. Or to the other end or beginning of the of the needle 
where this is in the back on this side and then you will start knitting over here again on the first stitch on the opposite side okay so we will knit these stitches now when you start knitting these stitches you pull on that stitch and the second third and fourth stitch i will pull i will stretch out and that stretching out again stretch out and stretch out and that stretching out is going to make the the line where you go from here to there it's going to go and make it tighter okay so you don't have a gap in there it's not gonna go and show immediately until you go and knit few rows so we will go and knit again first stitch and tighten up and pull on that stitch and knit stretch out that uh, uh, stitch and knit and stretch out okay slide down to the other end knit again and tight tight and now stretch the second third and fourth stitch okay, slide down and very soon i'll show you how it looks okay so this line this from here to here is gonna be tighter because of stretching of those uh, these stitches and keep it nice and tight let me do a couple more and then i will show it to you and i will actually go and like i said i will uh, knit very long tube or basically i cord okay and when i am finished i will start adding this i cord to my skirt at the waist okay so let me go and show you how it looks see you don't see you cannot see this line you can't see this line in here because of stretching of those uh, stitches okay so i will go and continue knitting and i will make you know so it wraps around my waist so uh, i don't know how uh, wide your waist is and so it's gonna wrap around my waist and i still need to have a little longer piece for tying it okay so it's gonna be long it's gonna be the size of my waist plus extra for tying and so that's how long it will be and then when i have that and i will show you then i will start adding it over here one stitch at a time okay and then i will continue making this again so it goes around my waist and some okay so that's what is going to go and happen next all right and when i'm finished i'll show it to you you're gonna see how it looks it's gonna look cool so here i am i made myself a very long uh, eye cord or basically a, like a tube type of belt all right and what we're going to do is now start attaching it working it with the skirt so and it has to be attached like this so i will again here i finished knitting right and we will go and push this and we will go and continue knitting that uh those stitches again tighten up push or pull each stitch so it kind of closes over here okay because you can see that the, it's just like really nice and tight right 
and this last stitch I will go and put over here okay and I will knit this last stitch with another stitch from my skirt okay so we're going to go and do that I will have to turn it around a little bit and we will knit these two together knit two together right now we will push that needle and we will repeat it but it's gonna be a little bit clumsy over here because a little bit more difficult because it's attached now to this um, to this needle right and again we will go and tight really tight if possible and start pulling those stitches pull those stitches pull those stitches stretch them okay now this is this is very loose because you know because of that uh, first stitch actually we need to go and move back that stitch again okay and knit next two stitches together so i undid my last stitch and knit those two stitches the next one after the first one okay knit it together let's go and do it it's a little bit difficult all right now i will go and push the needle again over here push this needle knit again all these stitches okay let's go stretch these stitches pull the stitch so it's not too big and stretch those stitches now we need to go and put it back on this last one the, the fourth one on the needle knit it with the next knit it with the next one okay and we do that again so always the last one you go and connect with the next on the skirts with the skirts uh, stitches okay and let me go and do a few and then I will show you how it looks okay so you can already see that it's being attached along this uh, edge right here okay so let me go and just work a little bit on it it's a, it's a little you know um, a detailed type of work but it can be it can be done with the patience actually i have to show you something because i found a better way to do it okay so look at this so i did my knit two together the fourth one and the stitch from the needle right and now i have to go and start knitting again at the first second and third okay this is my third one and now what I will do instead of taking this stitch and putting it on this needle I will actually do it the opposite I will take the stitch from the needle put it on my double pointed needle and then knit it knit those two together I think that's much better idea to go and do it look at this this is much faster and better now we have this one stitch here we move stitch from the needle onto my dpn and finish knitting that fourth stitch 
okay and it's it's not as clumsy in my opinion okay and let me go and show you how it looks you can see you can see how it's attached to the skirt all right so i will continue working all the way to the end over here all the way to the end and then when i'm finished with my last attaching my last stitch then i will continue with my four stitches another tube or eye cord just like this okay as long as this one because this one needs to go around my waist and this side has to go around my waist so they can go and tie together all right so i'm gonna be working on it tonight and i will probably finish videotaping this tomorrow everybody look how much I did last night I finished all this okay and I still have two more stitches over here and I will show you how I will continue all right so but let, let me tell you something it was so much easier to work with this having it on my lap so these two last stitches are going to be a breeze working here on the table. <laughs> All right, so we are going to again knit our three stitches and tighten this up and pull on the next stitch stretch it and now oops i lost that stitch you know what actually let me go and put it on right now okay and let's go and knit these two stitches together okay very good let's go and move this one in here and we will add it to the fourth later on okay so we don't need this anymore and this is our last row working on my waist or hip area okay so again i'm stretching these so they are nice and these are two together okay so these are nice uh nicely like in a circle and as you see it it curls but i will later on block it all right we'll block it and we won't have any problem but let me see how it looks and show you how it looks you see this is our this is our right here you can hardly see it right all right so now i will continue with this tube or basically i cord and i will make it just as long as this one all right and i just will continue like i did when i started here until my desired length ladies and gentlemen here is my finished project I washed it last night. It's still drying, still slightly damp. And so this is how it looks. This is my wrap around skirt that is thinner on this end and wider over here. So it's slanted. All right. Over here, I have my little heart that I have designed not too long ago and as it was drying you see 
all the edges were kind, were kind of curling, but now they're like perfect. Let me show you. They're not curling anymore. I love that. Um, but the only edge that is curling is this edge. So what I will do is I will go and take a um, uh, iron and I will just gently uh, flatten this edge so it doesn't curl because it is driving me crazy. And I wanted to also point a mistake in my skirt. As I was knitting and you know, this is lots of lots of lots of uh, stitches. So uh, sometimes I go and watch uh, meaningless uh, movies so I don't have to concentrate on a movie much. But look at that, I made a mistake. I didn't notice and I did yarn over right there. <laughs> so just when you're knitting, you know, don't do the same mistake like I do, all right? I don't think really it's noticeable, so I will keep it. I will not take it down. I also could go and close that little tiny hole somehow, um, but uh, I probably will leave it as it is. And here are my strings that act as a belt. Okay, so they will also wrap around and they will tie it uh, at the end over here. And I'm gonna go and have a nice slit over here. Okay, so that's my wrap around skirt. So what I did is I turned my knit so I can iron it on my wrong side. And uh, the steam is helping me to make sure that that edge doesn't curl up as much. I don't want to flatten it too much because then it doesn't look really nice. Let's go and turn off the steam and just gently, gently above the knit. Kind of dry it a little bit here. So here you can see how it looks and it's not curling as much. And I also didn't really press much so it should not be, you know, looking awful. We should not really um, iron uh, knits. So, but if you do it extremely carefully, I don't think you're going to go and do any damage all right so with this i will go and say goodbye to you uh, for today okay and don't forget the links for my blog and my playlists or other uh, links uh, are right below the video don't forget to like the video if you if you like uh if you like this skirt uh, I invite you to comment and if you have any ideas that some other people could go and learn from your ideas, please um, definitely write them below the video. Um, don't forget to share my videos with your family and friends. Uh, probably more friends than family. You probably are the only one who knits or crochet. <laughs> Uh, in your family, right? <laughs> well, anyway, that's just uh, just saying for fun. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, all right? And don't forget to follow me on social media. And you will see me another day.